Hey everyone, it's the Roger Williams Media Minute. Today I want to talk with you about transitioning from the yellow pages to online. So it's 2013, why are we still talking about the yellow pages? This is, seems like a crazy conversation. Believe it or not, there are still companies that heavily rely on their advertising in yellow pages. Problem is, they've probably been seeing a complete decline in how much business it's generating for them. The reason for this is because people aren't getting the yellow pages anymore. I know personally that we do not get the yellow pages. We went online, we signed up, said, don't send me the yellow pages anymore. I don't need it. Okay, and this was for 10 years I've just been taking that book and throwing it in the trash or recycling it. Sorry, it's always been recycled. But the reality is that I've got my smartphone here, I've got my computer there, I can go on to Google, I can go on to Facebook, I can go to tons of different places and get the information immediately that I need. That is, if you are online. If your business isn't online and it's not set up effectively, I'm not going to find it. So you need to start transitioning from the print yellow pages world. And you know, this can't even include banner ads and you know, classifieds, uh, all these coupons and stuff that you know, at my generation and younger generation, they're not looking at these things, okay? They might in some fringe areas, but for the majority, we're all going online now and we're looking for this stuff. So you wanna make sure you're getting online. Now, if you're online, you wanna make sure you're focused on local search engine optimization. What is this? Okay, well, it's a form of search engine optimization where you're constructing your website in a way that Google, and I guess there's some other search engines, but I forgot their name and nobody uses them, looks at your website and knows that you are set up for certain keywords. Well, local SEO is where it knows that you're in a certain location and to put you in the results that show up relevant to that. So let's say for instance, I'm looking for a baker in Phoenix. Well, you wanna make sure that your website's got your Phoenix address on it and that you talk about the fact that you're in Phoenix, Arizona. This means that Google's gonna come along and see that you're talking about that and hopefully classify you into their map system uh, with that. Now, you can go one step further and you set up your Google account Okay, and you set up your Google Pages, which we've talked about before, and you verify everything. They usually uh, either give an automated phone call or send a postcard to verify that you are who you say you are. You're that business at that address and at that phone number. You fill all this out, you choose the categories, you make sure the phone number's right, the address is right, you add some pictures to it, and you put a description in there, and then you should start showing up. Now, there's competition. There's only so many spaces in that local result. So, you know, you might not be at the top, but that's where you just need to work harder. You need to create more local content, talking about your business, what you do for your customers. And that's a whole nother subject on local SEO. But really that's what you're talking about doing. You're going from yellow pages to online and that online is local SEO. There's a lot of people that do this. I do this. I can help you out. Give me a call, shoot me an email, email's right there, comments below. There's multiple steps to it. There's getting set up on Google, Yelp, yellowpages.com, City Search, um, you know, Bing and Yahoo, you know, you can't get set up there. There's some larger groups like InfoSeek and Axiom, which are data warehouse wholesalers where you want to go and make sure that they've got your information correct because Yelp and Google are going to guys like that and getting the information that they're then posting on their website. So, you know, just know that this is out there. Start working on it. Go Google S local SEO. Learn about it. Mike Blumenthal is a great resource on this stuff and he's got a great blog and he talks about it all the time, really helping local businesses get this going. That's what I've got for today. I will see you tomorrow. Rock on.